Welcome to your Verge IP phone from Allworks. Sit back and let's learn how to use programmable button pages. The Verge IP phone series includes the following phone models. The 9304 has four physical programmable buttons. The 9308 has eight physical programmable buttons. And the 9312 has 12 physical programmable buttons. The Verge 9312 phone supports up to three additional 9318 EX expanders. Each of the expanders supports up to 18 additional physical programmable buttons for a total of 66 physical programmable buttons. This training video uses the Verge 9312 phone, which is the only model that supports the programmable button pages feature. In this training video, the following topics will be explored. First, we will have an overview of the programmable button pages. Then, we will explore how to use the feature. Finally, we will cover some helpful tips for using the button pages. The Verge 9312 phone has 12 physical programmable buttons which can be configured to specific functions, such as contact, park, and redial. This is only a partial list of supported functions. Please see the Verge Programmable Buttons training video for a complete list of supported functions and further details on how to configure a programmable button. With System Software 853 and newer, the Verge 9312 phone has an additional four pages of buttons for a total of 60 programmable buttons. Please note that the programmable button pages are only available on a Verge 9312 phone without any 9318 EX expanders installed. The programmable button pages feature is enabled by default and is configurable by the Allwork System Administrator. The layout of the idle screen will be slightly different when the programmable button pages feature is enabled. The missed calls and voicemail icons are moved slightly to the right. A new icon is displayed on the phone when the Programmable Button Pages feature is enabled by the System Administrator. The icon is representative of the five-way navigation pad. The five Programmable Button Pages are accessed using the five-way navigation pad. Each of the five pages is associated with one of the buttons of the navigation pad and can be accessed directly by pressing the corresponding navigation pad button. Think of the pages as though they are arranged in a plus sign layout. You have direct access to each page of programmable buttons and do not need to scroll to access them. The five programmable button pages are arranged as the top page, right page, bottom page, left page, and home page going clockwise around the navigation pad. When pressing a navigation pad button, the corresponding segment in the idle screen icon is white. For instance, when the top five-way navigation pad button is pressed, the top programmable button page is then displayed and the corresponding segment in the icon is white. For this example, buttons for the top page have already been configured. The first time a button page is selected without any buttons configured, a button page pop-up appears with the option to configure now or later. If later is selected, the next time you select this button page, the pop-up will appear. For example, select the top navigation pad button. Then select now to program the top button page. Use the same steps as configuring any programmable button. Please see the Verge Programmable Buttons training video for additional details on how to configure a button. In the previous example, you selected the top button page and configured a button. If you are already on a button page and select the navigation pad for that page, in this example, the top page, a pop-up will appear to let you know that you are already on the highlighted button page. Select Dismiss to remove the pop-up window. When using programmable button pages, some of the workflows will be different with the Verge 9312. Let's explore these changes. Please note, if you decide not to configure any of the programmable button pages, then your workflow will remain the same. When you select a particular programmable button page, you will view that page until you select a different button page. The phone will return to the last viewed page when waking from sleep, dismissing a pop-up, exiting a menu, and after a reboot. 
Remember to look at the programmable button page icon to know what button page you are on. We will explore the workflow for receiving a call, transferring a call to a contact, and status notifications. If you are receiving a call for an appearance on a page that is not being viewed, there will be a slightly different workflow. A pop-up menu will be shown that provides information about the inbound call. Information is shown for each call if more than one inbound call is ringing. Use the up and down buttons on the five-way navigation pad to select which call to answer, send to voicemail, or ignore. The call can be answered by pressing the select button, or by going off hook by lifting the handset, or pressing the speaker button. Let's walk through transferring a call to a contact on a different button page than the one you are viewing. Select the transfer button. Select the navigation button for the button page that has the desired contact. Let's select the left navigation button. Select the button for the desired contact, for example, Mr. Charles Bailey. A pop-up will appear providing transfer options. Refer to the Verge IP phone user documentation to learn more about transfer. The call is then transferred to the desired contact. The five-way navigation icon provides status notifications for button pages not being directly viewed. If a call is active on an appearance for a page that is not being viewed, then the corresponding segment of the five-way navigation icon will turn green. If a programmable button for a page not being viewed is in an alarm state, such as a hold reminder, then the corresponding segment of the five-way navigation icon will turn yellow. The five-way navigation icon will not indicate any BLF status for pages not being viewed. The BLF status is only visible for a button page directly being viewed. The following are some helpful tips for using the programmable button pages. When configuring a programmable button page, it is best practice to select Apply before navigating away from a particular page. This will reduce the chance of losing any unsaved configured buttons. It is recommended to use the Home button page for any appearances while using the other button pages for contacts. This will display all appearance status on the same button page. If you switch from having 9318 EX expanders to programmable button pages, the system software will automatically populate your button pages. You can also switch from programmable button pages to 9318 EX expanders. As a reminder, you cannot use programmable button pages and 9318 EX expanders at the same time. Finally, you cannot navigate to empty pages when dialing, transferring, or during conference calls, and a pop-up message will not be displayed. This completes the training video. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the Verge Phone Programmable Button Pages feature. For more information about using any of the phone features, check out our other Verge videos, or download the AllWorks Verge IP Phone User Guide, available at www.allworks.com.